In this video, we're going to talk about the Burr method of real estate investment and what it's all about. Make sure you stay to the end because I'm going to give you information as to how you can get access to turnkey investment property with low price, low maintenance, with high ROI and amazing cash flow. My name is Samuel Arachi Singham. I'm a real estate investor and a real estate agent as well as a global team leader at EXP Realty. Please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and hit the notification bell to get updates on new content. So now let's talk about the Burr method. The Burr method is an acronym for buy, renovate or rehab rent, refinance, and repeat. So this is a real estate investment strategy that focuses on finding distressed properties or in other case, undervalued properties, renovating them, and then renting them out to tenants, and then refinancing the property to take out the equity and then repeating the process, allowing you to buy multiple other properties. Again, in order to fund further rental property investment. One of the biggest differences between a Burr method and a conventional investment strategy is the focus on buying distressed properties and then refinancing it to buy other properties. What I love about this investment strategy is that if it's done correctly, it allows you to build passive reincurring rental income over time, as well as giving you the ability to build your portfolio in a faster manner than something like a buy and hold strategy, which I did the video on. If you want to learn a little bit more about it, you could check it up here. So within the Burr method, the process when you're buying a distressed property, it's really about finding a property that is quite undervalued. It needs a lot of work and you want to make sure that you do the renovations that's up to code, that is in a livable condition for your tenants. And when you're looking to buy these properties, make sure that you apply the key economic drivers and factors that we talk about in a lot of our other videos. Make sure you check that out as to where to invest prior to looking at these properties. There's a lot of consideration that goes into choosing the right neighborhood because remember, you're going to be renting these out to tenants. Because the second R stands for rehab or renovating the property, it may need extensive work. So you'll renovate the property to make structural, aesthetic, a safety improvements, prepping it for renters. Because renovating a property is involved in this investment strategy, make sure prior to choosing this investment method, you conduct some intensive research around cash flow analysis, looking at your budget, making sure that you have funds allocated for renovation, ensuring that you get number of different quotes to compare, working with credible, reputable people in the industry who are used to renovating on distressed properties. So the next step is to rent out the property. And as a real estate investor, this is a key aspect to your investment portfolio. Make sure you understand the tenancy act of your province or state, giving you some really insider information to the process, understanding that you're able to deal with tenant issues as they arise, ensuring that you understand your responsibility as well as a tenant's responsibility because you're a business owner and you're going to operate this like a business. This is why it is so important that you're doing your research to look at key economic drivers in transitioning neighborhoods so that you're attracting the right tenants for your property. Make sure in this phase of the investment method, you're looking and doing some research, understanding the rental rates for in that neighborhood. And again, I can't say this enough. Make sure you're working with credible people who understand real estate investing. If you're a real estate investor and you're indecisive about wanting to manage your own property and you want some more information as to choosing the right property management company or even overall tips to see what is the right fit for you, make sure you watch the video where I give you tips on how to choose the right property management company and all the tenant issues that you may have to deal with. As you'll probably come to realize that every acronym that's part of this investment method comes with its own challenges, but it's very intricate and has a process in place and make sure you have a system in place to make it work for you. The next acronym stands for refinance. And this phase is an exciting part. A lot of the hard work are done. Now you're going to get access to the equity in the property. Remember, you found distress undervalued property and you force this to appreciate, which now is going to give you this unique opportunity to get access to the equity that's available in this property. Oh, in other words, appreciated value. And this is where, again, you want to work with credible, reputable people who are investment focused, mortgage brokers who have access to a variety of products that's going to give you access to the most competitive rates and give you access to this additional funds. And if you want access to award winning service providers, make sure you get in touch with us. And this cash that you pull out can be used on anything, including buying other properties. And again, if you're refinancing on properties, make sure you have partners or anybody that you're working with who are able to qualify for other secondary properties. And to get all the information on the process of refinancing, make sure again, you work with a professional licensed mortgage broker. And the last acronym stands for repeat. And this is my favorite part. This is allowing you to move closer to your investment goals. And this is where you can use the funds from the refinance to buy other properties. And it's pretty much doing the process all over again. And exactly that, you're just repeating the process where we talked about you're buying undervalued property, you're gonna renovate them, you're gonna rent them out, you're gonna refinance the property, and again, you can do it all over again. And before you choose the Burr method as your choice of real estate investing strategy, make sure you look at the pros and cons. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell because I'm gonna be doing a complete breakdown of the pros and cons of the Burr method. Because before you choose the investment strategy that's right for you, you wanna make sure you do the right research. Now 
Now, I want to give you access to turnkey investment properties. Josh and I recently started investing in the US as Canadian residents, and these properties are low price. They're undervalued properties. We're going to give you strong cash flow every single month, low maintenance, and again, turnkey. Make sure you check the description below to get access to our mailing list where we send out every single week undervalued properties. Once again, my name is Samila Rajasingham. I'm a real estate investor and a real estate agent, as well as a global team leader with EXP Realty. If you're a real estate agent watching this and you're trying to get into the real estate investing space and you want someone to partner with and to work along, site make sure you connect with me as well and check the description below for more information thank you so much for watching i hope you found this helpful i'll see you next time